Welcome back to the Captain Sandy and Leah Ray Show. We're so excited to have you guys on another episode. So yeah, thanks for joining us. And we are going to listen to the first caller and their question. So exciting. How do you to make your relationship stay exciting, even though both of you have jobs that take you on the road? Thank you, Kim. We love that question. I think I'll let Leah begin. I started to talk and I was like, uh, I'm excited to see her every day. That's the truth. Um, but I think just being, I don't know, like, how do we keep it exciting? So basically, I think going away, coming back, it's like, you know, a Helps. brand new toy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something. I'm not going to yeah. say it. So uh. anyway, yeah, like it's, we have FaceTime. Thank, thankfully for FaceTime. Yeah, thanks for FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. we kiss each other through FaceTime. Yeah. And we, we talk every day. We make life exciting in so many different ways. We like, we love our puppies. We love, you know, Lolo, my daughter. We, we love life. We love our families. And so we keep our lives very active outside yeah. of like our like love life and it makes us closer and closer and closer and then plus like you just can't get enough of each other because she's hot yeah no she's hot so, I, I was like yeah just, just make she's sure beautiful the cameras on her face so uh yeah it's yeah. we in the beginning honestly it wasn't easy to navigate but we learned how to and so we're we good. just make out real good <laughs> and then everything's fine yes exactly yeah, that's it she says, stop talking. And she just kisses me. Aww. And then it melts me. And then that's yeah. it. So yeah. Yeah. Just so, make out. Yeah. So thank you for calling. Yeah. And um, definitely, if you have any more questions, just let us know. So we're yeah. going to listen to our next question. Our sure, next question. Hey, Captain Sandy and Leah. Big fan. I would like to ask you, as a future dad of a baby girl, how do I raise a confident woman in a male-dominated world? Thank you very much for your advice, and good luck with the podcast. Oh, I love that. That's so sweet. Well, I was very close with my dad, and honestly, just love her. Just love her, make her feel like she's the most beautiful thing ever inside and out. Um, teach her to just be kind and... Um, hug her. Like, I love that my dad hugged me. He played sports with me. He just was very involved. And I think that when you're involved and you show that you care about your child, um, they they aren't insecure because they know that you're there and you believe in them. And that carries over into, into everyday life. Yeah. I love that. I mean, Leah's a mom, so she knows. Yeah. Uh, for me, when I was a kid, my father taught us how to change a tire he taught us how to check our water and the radiator. He taught us things. <laughs> they don't make cars like that anymore. So um, we became more confident and capable. So teaching, like Leah said, love her, teach her, it makes you feel more capable. And what I love is when people say you can be anything you want to be, dream big, follow your dreams. That really empowered me as well, because my parents were like that. You can do anything you want. You can be anything you want, but you have to put the work in. Mm -hmm. And um, working in a male-dominated industry, I just learned my craft like to the best of my ability. And I worked really hard to get there, and I earned my peers' respect. I didn't expect it. I earned it. And walking in, and I think staying humble, right, Leah? Because yeah. And you talk a lot about grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think you're going to be her ultimate role model um, because you're the first man she's ever seen, been with. You're like the male person in her life. So that's all she's kind of going to know. And that's going to carry over and that's going to set her up on how she responds to other males in the business. And you're going to teach her like, that's not okay. Like stand up for yourself. Like don't l allow another man to take advantage of you. Um, and just really, I think, communication and letting her know what's right and wrong. Um, because you're a man. You know what's right and wrong with, you know, a little girl and a woman. And I think it's, that's really important just to be really protective. Exactly. And like my dad uh, taught us. So we yeah. earned, we started earning money 
in the household by polishing this massive truck. Wow. Wipe on, wipe off. Wow. I got, that's I why you look say. so good. I, I wish I got really good at karate, but I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, and we did that every Saturday. We oh. cleaned that truck. Uh, and that gave us a sense of responsibility. We earned some money. We got that self-confidence. Mm-hmm. And it was like a big dump truck because it was my dad. He drove a dump truck. And I don't know, like that felt really good. And I felt like I could move through life um, with anyone because of the confidence my parents gave me. I love that. I had to pay the fence. Yeah. I had to pay the fence and pick up dog poop. (laughs) That was my, that was my responsibility. (laughs) Hey, well, hey, Yeah. I mean, you know, that's why I'm a good huck. (laughs) Yeah. She she calls me a huck and she's Tom. Yeah. You know, painting the fence. Hey, Hey, she has to watch that movie. Okay. Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Great. Oh yeah. Classics. So, so what do we do in Las Vegas, Leah? We watch Tom Sawyer. Yeah. I guarantee you we're the only ones in Las Vegas watching that. Because I told her, you got to learn about Huck painting the fence. Yeah. So anyway. Now, thank now you. I know better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Thank you for your question. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, it's Dawn and Jim. Just saying we are so proud of you and love this so much. Sure, friends. Great job. Can't wait to see. Looking forward to watching you guys grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Love you. What's uh, the question, Don? Don and Jim. Okay. What about Louie? Where's Louis. the puppy? Yeah. So these are our friends. Thank you for calling in. You guys are so sweet to call in and support us and make sure the link worked. Because that's always very important to make sure the link works and records. So thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And also, it's so important. I think this is a perfect example how friends support friends, right? Yes. So that's so awesome. And I, know. I had my first fundraiser in your home. Thank you. You pulled this all together and I met Louie, yeah. your puppy, yeah. the great Louie. And I'm so grateful. And I met Jim. So thank you. And yeah. and I've never laughed so hard in my life in Aspen at Gay Ski Week yes. with you. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Yes. And, you know, thankful for our other friend, Terry, that we met you through. Yes. And that's how it works, people. We... We have each other's back. We support each other. That's what we do in life, right? Right. So you meet, no one owns friends, right? I always say this. When I introduce someone to someone else, I don't covet them. They are for you to have. It is your job to be a friend back. And I hope I am a good friend back. You're a good friend. Yeah. She loved that Maui Jim mm-hmm. ride, didn't you? <laughs> on the boat. We went on oh, the Maui yeah, Jim yeah, yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun. awesome. Got some sunglasses, hung out with the Maui Jim people. And by the way, I love Maui Jim. Yeah, I love Maui Jim. Yeah. But thank you for calling. Yes, thank you. I can't wait to see you when we're back. Yes. You, let's go to the next question. I would love that. Hi, girls. I was just wondering how you navigate um, coming out late in life after being married and having four kids and navigating the whole family, extended family and also being raised Irish Catholic. Thank you. Wow. That's so Leah's question. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that you were married and you met someone, but um, I don't know. If you want to message me later on Instagram, you can. Um, But it's not easy, but it's also worse feeling trapped and tormented inside yourself and your kids deserve a mom that's happy because they know they're not dumb and they, they, they know and see the dynamics between, you know, mom and dad and they're not happy and they deserve to see their parents affectionate and loving and kind because that's going to show them how to be in their relationship and have a healthy relationship and not compromise um, their happiness. So yes, it's hard Yes, there's a lot of loss and grief and you're having to manage all the different personalities and the things that they go through. I just had a a session with, you know, Lola, my daughter, about when she went through in the divorce and it wasn't easy, but she sees that I'm happy, you know, and that's makes me happy. And she saw a strength in me that I'm not going to compromise for anybody because you're still like 
need to live your life. And it's not being selfish. I think it's being selfless when you can show that you're not afraid to yeah. you know, go after love. Yes. One of the things I loved about Leah, uh, because for me, I just had to tell my family and they're like, what'd we do wrong? I'm like, it's not about you. It's actually about me. Right. Uh, what I loved about Leah was she said, I'm going to show my daughter what you do when you're not happy. I'm going to show my daughter how to get out of something. I want to be that role model for my daughter. I can only imagine how you feel. It's scary. Yeah. You're going to be judged, right, Leah? Very much Prepare so. Prepare yourself. They will be angry with you. Lola was angry with you. She was definitely angry with me. More but, so because I changed her life so dramatically from what she was used to, and it's not always la-la land, you know, and... Um, but it was hard for me to come out to my parents who are very religious and my dad actually tried to talk me out of being with Sandy. Um, and when he saw how happy I was, he, he changed. And I told them, I said, I'm not trying to change your mind and your belief system. I just want you to keep loving me as Leah. And yeah, I mean, the church was like, definitely, I'm not allowed to sing on the platform anymore. I mean, religion definitely is not supportive of same sex, but so One, the person that you are in love with, they should be worth it. Um, Sandy was for me. And to me, um, that's everything. Because then you can conquer all of it together as well as a couple. Yeah, uh, honestly, like it's not going to be easy. So don't think it is. And there's no magical answer. The answer is living it and being an example. The answer is being authentic to yourself like Mm -hmm. we talk about. That's what you have to be because you have four children and your children need to see you solid, solid and authentic and pursue your happiness and not stay stuck. Leah yeah. wrote a song called Stuck. <laughs> stuck. <laughs> yeah, because she was yeah. stuck. You can download it. Yeah, honestly, that song, listen to it and it, you used a lot of music to help you get through things. Yeah. I remember Lola was angry screaming mad why do we have to move out of their big house to this little apartment it was devastating for leah because of the big change and watching her daughter suffer but you had to stay true to your authenticity and be who you are if you do that you will get to the other side Mm -hmm. and you will be better and you will be full of love in your heart and they will forgive you and they will see how happy you are yeah and you'll see just don't stop walking that road, trudging the road to happy destiny, because that's really what it is. Yeah. And it's not easy. And I was depressed many days and cried and you go up and down a lot. And I still have my faith in God that that doesn't go away. So I still pray. I believe in God. God loves me. God loves you. He's not punishing you. And I think that's where I want people to know that, that, um, that was huge for me, my, my faith and surround yourself with people that Yes. Support you and love you. Yes. And you right. didn't have a lot of that. No. Leah didn't have a lot of that. So she has so, her friends now. <laughs> yes. Because my friends had been there, done that. Yeah. And they embrace Leah. Uh, and that's what you do. Maybe you lose them all. Maybe you lose all your friends. Maybe you lose your church. But you go find another one. And you will make new friends. And you find yourself. And you find yourself. So. And that's the best gift of all. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Thank DM you. DM Leah. And I'm sure she'll talk to yeah, you. Yeah, Totally. Thanks for your question. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of you, for all your questions. I mean, I just feel so grateful that you all called in and you find interest in our relationship and that we can, you know, give some advice and feedback to help you all and bring hope to your lives. This is my favorite part. Don't you love the questions? I love the questions. Honestly, like, I feel like I was given this platform to help other people. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to share... something I've never experienced or witnessed one of my friends go through. So you can trust that. I do not have a degree in psychology. I just have a degree in living life. Yeah. Let's just say I went to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> and I love that people don't see the side of you in the show, you know, and I, I love this. It gives everyone an opportunity to see a whole other Sandy. That's what I fell in love with. I mean, the captain's pretty hot too, but I love my Sandy. So thank you for calling in. This ends today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a question and DM us, follow us on Instagram. Click on that link. Absolutely. Oh, wait, what? And don't forget to do the next right thing.
for sure the next right thing. Bye. Bye. Nothing's gonna hold me down again. I'm letting go to rise above.